Um, and as you were saying, as you were talking, I kind of was thinking about the other aspects that is sort of um, a sad reality that we don't really have a museum, especially in the United States, that talks about the slave trade on its own. We have the African American Museum in DC, we have museums for African American history and culture, but we don't have anything that is just devoted to that, um, that negative aspect of history. Yeah, yeah, and these, uh, I would say that um, no other country than except for Liverpool and some community museums, then there is a museum there in Brazil, in a, then in a particular state that is Minas Gerais, it is called the, the Slaves mm -hmm. Museum. It's a community museum that we have uh, some uh, than one here in Maryland, but the, these are private uh, community museums that we do not mm -hmm. have any visible museum right. dedicated to, uh, to slavery. And this was a choice. Mm -hmm. uh, there is a new museum coming uh, that will be inaugurated in, um, in Charleston. Mm -hmm. uh, there, that was the, the, the first uh, slave trading port uh, in the United States, then in terms of importing enslaved people from uh, then a point of arrival of enslaved people from, from enslaved Africans then who came from Africa, they would, the, the largest, uh, then the, the, the point where the largest number disembarked was there. And they, they are doing an international African-American museum mm -hmm. that is going to tell about the history of slavery. They are at the, the place where uh, then the, the slave trade was being conducted. But this was a choice that was made there there was a choice that was made here in Washington, D.C. Uh, to not equate the experience of African-Americans with uh, slavery, which is, of course, a valuable and um, valid uh, point. On the other hand, uh, it seems to be clear when you are referring to other atrocities, such as the Holocaust. Mm -hmm. Then we have a national... Uh, the U.S. Uh, Holocaust Memorial Museum, and this is not a museum of uh, Jewish history. Even if right. you have museums of Jewish history elsewhere. But this has been a choice uh, because the idea is um, for many African Americans or Afro-Brazilians or uh, then people of African descent elsewhere, they do not the, the, the history of populations of African descent uh, it starts before um, mm. enslavement and slavery. Right. Then at the same time, it's something that uh, erases the fact that these were um, parts of the, the history that uh, helped to, to create this, this country and Brazil and Cuba and mm. uh, Portugal and so on. Right. And it's kind of like the, the other aspect too, it's, it's in part, it's understandable that the African-American or ever Brazilian community doesn't want slavery or the slave trade to be the definer of their, their kind of mm -hmm. heritage. But at the same time for the rest of us, it's oftentimes a good reminder that negative things, bad things happened in the past and the museum to study it is a good place to avoid the repetition of it as well. Um, so it, uh, I fully agree that it's sort of, I understand the African side of it, but there's the other aspect of learning from the past too, of not like our students always like to say, let's not repeat the past. That's why we study history and uh, museums can help us with that. Yeah, of course. And I think that um, perhaps the, the, the problem is that, and I think that is one, of course, uh, central elements of the book, that all this debate about the slavery and the Atlantic slave trade uh, and how people, they are engaging with the, this past uh, and with the monuments is not uh, only associated to the past, but to the present of uh, racism, white supremacy, racial inequalities, depending on where you are, all this tied together then. Um, and this is why it becomes it, it, it becomes even more important because how uh, then the slavery was and the Atlantic slave trade were uh, at 
at the heart than there were the, the founding elements mm -hmm. to the idea of race and racism, anti-black racism as uh, we, we see today, but that emerged then uh, in the, um, uh, at the end of the, the 15th century when the Atlantic slave trade um, developed, then this is an important element that should be told. And not, it, it, it's not something to be told to the populations of African descent, but to the white populations in countries like the United States who needed to know uh, yeah. this, uh, to, who needed to be confronted to this, this history. And it's, um, it's something that you are going to see evolve the same ways that these monuments are being removed now. Uh, and that slavery is just entering the museum mm. uh, because it's very recent. We can expect that in a number of years, there will be um, museums uh, that will tell uh, this, this story. Definitely. Um, and I think the other aspect to consider is the changing demographics that um, mm -hmm. as the white population, especially in the US, drops below 50% on its population um, share, museums will have to integrate these other narratives that people from Latin America, people from Africa want to see more about. Um, and that, I mean, as much as we think of Europe as a very much um, white continent, it's changing as well. Um, mm -hmm. they, they will have to adjust to this kind of darker past of theirs as well. Yeah, and um... Hey, we see all these uh, because all these debates they are they are connected. And on the one hand, the uh, how is slavery uh, is now in the museum, the the debates regarding the monuments, and also all the collections of these um, of these museums that in many cases uh, include a lot of uh, objects. In many cases, in, <laughs> in perhaps then the big museums either art museums or anthropology museums that included then objects that were looted from the, the African continent or from, from Asia and uh, Latin America then during conquest or uh, colonization then uh, this is another element that is uh, in debate right now. We saw this at the Brooklyn Museum, all these debates about the decolonize uh, the museum, the colonize this place and so on. Then um, this is certainly something that the, the museum is not, um, how can I say, uh, an entity that is isolated from the societies where it is, uh, it is in, then we can just ho hope and expect that these debates will become uh, more and more um, uh, heated and, and uh, interesting to, to, to follow and to, to intervene as well. Right. 